Play Crunker! Play Crunker! No. Please play Crunker! No. Play Crunker! Nah. Maybe. So, I am not reading all that. It's fine, because I'm going to break it down for you. This is what Brian has come out with today. Brian is slash was the CEO of FRVR, the company that acquired Crunker. He's going to get a little bit into that in this post, talking about his exact role and exactly how he functions within within Crunker. There's a lot to go through here, chat. Um, him admitting his mistakes, what went into the game, his exact role, and the plans he has for the game. So this is basically the first massive announcement we've had in about a year. The last big announcement was basically announcing that they're, they're kicking out all their staff members. Dear Crunker community, Crunker is an amazing game with an impressive community, and I'm the person ultimately responsible for screwing it up the last couple of years. Chat, I think it's actually crazy how just off the rip, Brian is is like Jesus on the cross. He's he's willing to take all, all, all of the sins and all of the bad things that have happened in the past few years of the game and put it on himself. That is showing real promise of a good leader. Let's keep reading. I made the decision for FRVR to acquire Crunker back in 2022, which is interesting because I actually thought it was 2023. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but that means they would have been planning this a year earlier than they actually got acquired. And in doing so, I took responsibility for something I did not fully understand. Uh, a lot of talented people put hours and hard work into Crunker over the last few years. We set out to bring Crunker to new audiences and improve it in ways that did not break what's special about Crunker.io. So they basically wanted two different experiences. One, they could focus putting new random stuff into and keeping the core IO experience, which obviously didn't happen. Sorry, I'm not gonna keep pausing. I know this is very, very long. And then plan to bring back many of those improvements to the core game, which they did with multi-spins. But in spite of the hard work and best intentions, the result was leaving Crunker IO and the core community stranded for too long. I, I recently left my role as CEO of FRVR and joined the Crunker team. This guy stepped down from CEO to join the Crunker team. For the last six weeks, I've been digging into understanding what's been happening both before and after we took over the game. I don't know how much I can say on this, but Brian did actually get in contact with me to talk uh, a lot with me and kind of pick my brain and ask me a few ideas and, and kind of talk to me about the history of Crunker. And what was crazy to me, chat, is that Brian watched my entire mini documentary on Crunker's rise and downfall. And he said it was so helpful and so useful towards his efforts of understanding the game that he's going to require every single team member that works on Crunker.io to watch that entire video, which I think is an absolutely massive dub for not just me, but the community, because ultimately that's what that video represents. I've seen a lot of speculation on what's been going on, so I'm going to be transparent about what we've been doing uh, and why, what we've achieved and what direction we plan to take Crunker. I've been spending time directly with people from the community and intend to continue doing this on a regular basis together with our upcoming community manager. So we're probably going to see who this is very, very soon. It'll probably be someone that you guys know. I mean, it might not be. It might not be anyone in the Crunker community. It might just be someone from another freaking company. I don't know. But this is great. What they're saying is great. But I don't want you to forget what they said when they acquired the game was also very great and that never happened. So take everything with a grain of salt. We've expanded the team significantly in the last month. Many might think the game is dying since it's only been minimally supported in the last year, but there are still many active players, 2.7 million in the last month. Now, I don't know if that's unique users. That is probably reoccurring users. So it's like however many tens of hundreds of thousands of people that is a day. I don't think that's unique users, but I could be wrong. And we are about to bring the focus back home to Crunker.io. Ah! Finally! Here are some things I am sure about at this point. Bear in mind that these things are going to take a while to do, chat, because there's so many aspects of Crunker. Narrowing down and focusing on one thing at a time is going to take a while. And I think the first thing they want to do is focus on like the main game and then focus on like trading and then mapping and then like all this other stuff, right? I do like when I'm talking about CCs up here, but let's keep going. Here are some things I'm sure about at this point. The community is the heart and soul of Crunker and we need to rebuild the structures that make it work. Now, this is amazing. Obviously, Brian's been talking to the right people. The core of the game was the community. Fixing scams, abuse, compromised accounts, and cheaters is urgent and important. It's urgent and important, chat. Like, we know this. Yeah, cheaters have always been urgent and important. So uh, what, are you, what are you gonna do? Um, anyway, fixing foundational server infrastructure. Oh, here we go, here we go. Sorry, shouldn't have spoke. Improving security, stability, 
and the user experience is urgent and important. And then here's where it gets exciting chat. After this, so after they fix the core experience of the game, there will be a season eight in Crunker.io and then a season nine, etc. Like what the frick, man? How does he just drop that on us like that? He just literally announced that, hey guys, we're gonna do all this stuff. And then once we've done that, we're going to drop season eight. There's no time frame in classic Crunker fashion. There's no time frame, but it is something. And now this is something we can we can quote the devs on and we can we can watch the devs on. We haven't had any word from these guys in the past year. We can now see if they are about it. The future of Crunker looks more like Crunker.io and not like Crunker Strike. Now, for whatever reason, in the past year, they might have realized, hey, Crunker Strike isn't gonna do as good as the original. So we should probably pivot. And I feel like that's the point we're at now, where they're no longer 100% obsessed on farming Facebook dads for all their freaking retirement money. And they're more focused on the little Zuma kids that just wanna fly around and have fun. And that's what got us here, chat. That's what got us here. And that's what's gonna take us further. And it's beautiful that Brian understands. For the next few months, the majority of the Crunker team, I wish he said how many people. I wish he said like, oh, the whole, like 90% of the strike team is on I. Like, I wish he told us how many people are working on this game now, but I digress. For the next few months, the majority of the Crunker team is committed to wrapping up an unannounced project. Okay, we can speculate on what that is, which has some long-term benefits for Crunker.io. After this, the majority of the team will be committed to working directly on Crunker.io. The Crunker team is committed to work, uh, to wrapping up an unannounced project. Does that mean it has something to do with Crunker? If they are the Crunker team, then they're working on something unannounced. This, who knows? Chat, we'll have to wait and see. This is the first of few longer posts. In future updates, I'll tell you more about what we originally intended to do, what went wrong, what we've built behind the scenes, the project we're working on. Okay, so we're gonna find out what this is and what the plans are for the future of Crunker.io. The community has my sincere apology for getting this wrong and neglecting Crunker.io for so long. I don't expect you to take my word for it, but I will show you. Best regards, Brian. Now, chat from this post and from my talks with Brian, it really does seem like they're all in on this. It really does seem like they've tried many different things with Crunker Strike over the past year. I don't know how well those things have gone for them, but it is clear now that they really understand their mistakes and they want to focus back on what they originally bought, which was the IO game and not what they created, which was a shitty port. Let's be real. It was a shitty pay to win port. You don't want to play that. I don't want to play that. Like, you know what I mean? Hopefully they've now realized that. And, and from what I've seen, it's looking good. Chat, there's a, I mean, there's so much in here, bro. I love the fact somebody is stepping up to the plate. Even when Crunker got acquired, no one stepped up to the plate as like, oh, I'm the Crunker guy. Like I'm, I'm the CEO, like, or whatever, dude. Whereas now we have Brian to hold accountable. And as hard as that is to do as a person, I feel like that benefits the community more than anybody would understand. All you have to do is look at a game like COD Zombies, right? You had people like Jason Blundell, for all my COD fans out there. Jason Blundell would, was like the spearhead of the community. He would give updates on the maps. And then when things would go wrong, they would complain at him. And, it, and it, it felt like a community, which is almost like what they're trying to build here. Love it, love it, love it. Chat, anything I missed? Anything I anything I didn't I didn't go over? Anything I, uh, we should mention before I play my first game in a year? Stepping down from CEO to CTO is a big thing to do. Yeah, that is massive. Like that indicates, oh snap, I need to do this now or we're going under. Maybe that's a bit much to say, but like that's kind of what that indicates morals more than money i mean i disagree i think everything is motivated by money i believe even this post right here is motivated by money i believe the past year they probably didn't make as much as they wanted to and they're now like oh we wasted a few million on this didn't get it back uh let's try something else so i don't actually want to agree with that to be honest i think everything revolves around money but we can only pray and that that was always going to be the um the reality when they sold to a corporation like this chat they're gonna want to make money they're a business they put 70 million dollars into the game plus more it's the reality of things they're gonna want to make their money back right so i don't think it's like a oh i feel really bad kind of thing although i think they do that's not the sole reason i reckon if the initial yendis team was a lot bigger it may have never gotten to this point um yeah probably if they had like more people to deal with all the stuff 100 percent. because i i genuinely believe sid got to the point of overload it looks like they're you know they're, they're trying to bring more people into the team right to to fluff out the community of course they have to earn money somewhere otherwise it wouldn't be crunker 
Uh, yeah, right, they have to keep the servers up. I see what you're saying there. I'm excited to hear. Gave all my stuff away already. Yo, chat. Yo, chat. I have like half the inv, like a quarter of the inv I used to have, bro. I gave away all my stuff. I think this is great. Brian has done his research over the past six weeks. He's got a good understanding of what the game needs and what the game requires. And a lot of what goes into that. Actually, only has one frostbite now. Yeah, I gave away a frostbite. Uh, I actually forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I only have one, but like, what does it matter, dude? Okay. Kashi, can you slide on my crunk? Okay, that's where we're gonna end it, buddy. That's what that's where we're gonna end it. Alright, guys. Alright. Spin. Uh yeah, we can do a spin. And another. Oh! <laughs> you thought, I thought that would have been crazy. That would have been crazy. Pepe slippers, bro. This is the ugliest fit I've ever made in my life. But I'm ready for my first game of Krunker in over a year. Here we are, boys. Cashy cans is back verified penta clan this does not feel real life right now this does not feel real life at all but here we are boys slide hopping around debatably one of the most boring maps of the game and oh my goodness does it feel good to be back oh my god boing 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 i, I don't even have it i don't even huh. i don't even have the movement anymore wait yes i do Look, I've still got the, the little movement flicks, you know, to boost your speed. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, is this a new game? Yeah, this is a brand new game, bro. This is a brand new game called Krunka, dude. Ew! Why does my model look disgusting? Why does my model look like that, bro? The classic Kashi on Krunka. Yes, bro. The antimatter, the frostbite. Cranked! Cranked! Please vote for Fright. No! Okay, well, this is actually going to be my first time playing Bizarre. Since they added it back in the game, now my mouse is still flicking like crazy. So, oh, I can see that guy through the wall. So if my game plays bad, that's my excuse. All right, we should be back. I can't even hit my first snipe on this game, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hit marker, classic. Headshot, oh my gosh, the sound. I am not used to this map at all, bro. I never actually played when this map was first and uh, released back in 2019. So technically this is new content to me, bro. I should not stop moving. Uh, see, I've forgotten the basics. Bizarre is arsed. Yeah, it's not the best, but we can vibe with it. There it is. The 180 on that guy. Woo! We take those. Time to watch 30 things you should never do in Krunker again. Yeah, I think I need to watch that, if anything. I hate that you can't slide up this. Whoa. Whoa. But yeah, I mean, I'm super excited to see what the devs are going to do with this game. Again, I think it's going to take them a little while to actually put the things through that they want to do. But by the looks of things, they want to fix the main issues with the game before they start adding any kind of major content. So the next few updates, expect like bug fixes, expect like certain things to be reworked. I'm very interested to see what that unannounced project is. That is super, super exciting. But who knows, man? Who knows? Bring back Face It. Well, I think we all know that's not going to happen. I think we all know that Face It is not going to return. Like after, after like what happened with the game before and with Face It, I don't think Face It would ever want to like have anything to do with Krunker again, to be honest with you. Bug fixes are more important than season eight by far. I mean, I agree, bro. I, I, I totally agree. I think the game should be in a, in a playable state before they start adding new skins and new maps and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it, it's... It's honestly really promising. Like Brian really said nothing wrong in that post. And hopefully he's going to continue updating us on more things to come. He's going to be a, a, a lot more open and honest about what has happened over the past year. Um, he's He explained a lot of that to me in our call that we had. But obviously he's, you know, going to post that to the public when he's ready. So I'm not going to entirely share that. It is definitely a very interesting story on what happened with FRVR and Krunker. So you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned. Definitely going to want to stay tapped in on Krunker, bro. And I mean, just the fact that he knows that the community is like massive for the game is is lovely to see, bro. It is lovely to see. Hey, H6Z, congratulations on your dub, man. Congratulations. You beat me by a whole 700 score, man.